Hello guys, Mia here. With a recent Monero fork to combat ASIC mining and also news coming out from Reddit about how Bitmain now controls over 51% of Bitcoin hash rate, I thought it would be a great time for us to get to the bottom of this. Let's go. It just so happens that in my backyard, there's one of the biggest electronics manufacturing hubs in China. You all know my stance on ASICs. Hashtag Team Decentralization. But as we say in Chinese, 知己知彼百战不殆. Know your enemy and yourself. Then you will win the battles. So let's check this place out and see if you can grab one of those now useless Crypto Knight A6 miners to use as a doorstopper. As you can see, despite the governments are cracking down on trading, mining farms and payment channels, it's still very busy here with many things on offer. You can see a lot of buyers are from India and Russia and they're looking for some made in China good stuff. Despite the decline in mainland Bitcoin trading, China still accounts for more than two-thirds of the world's mining power, partly because these companies are the main suppliers of ASIC machines. Popular models include the Ant Miner S9 made by Beijing-based Bitmain Technologies. These are the busters trying to monopolize the Bitcoin hash rate. An Ant Miner S9 with a mining speed of 14 trillion hashes per second costs more than 8,000 yuan. That's 1,300 US dollars. According to Bitmain's website, that's like one to two months salary for the average workers here. Crazy. But ordering one directly from the company is difficult because products offered in limited online sales are snapped up in seconds. Demand allows vendors to sell well above the price listed on the website. Windows here have sold on the minor S9s for as much as 8,700 yuan. A cheaper but less powerful mining option is Avalon 6. They are made by Tanan Creative, a Hangzhou-based company. The company is currently planning to launch an IPO outside of mainland China. Hong Kong and the United States have both been floated as possible countries where the IPO could take place. I don't know what the prices for this will be, but if they have really dropped low due to Monero fork, then you can make fun of the ASIC manufacturers and chuck up a win to supporters of decentralization.